Hey guys, it's Sunday, June 21st. This is the first vlog I'm putting over on the Bailey J channel. If you don't watch my vlog channel, you're probably, you're probably super confused. My explanation video is over there, since that's the channel I'm abandoning. I'm not gonna repeat it all here, so if you want the full explanation, it's there if you wanna watch it, I'll link it below. But essentially, I'm moving the vlogs over to this channel and I'm not posting speed paint style content anymore over here, but I will be showing more of my art process in the vlogs instead of trying to hide most of the process or like, you know, before I'd mostly show the before and afters in the vlog, whereas now you're getting more of the actual process. It's kind of like this is now a studio vlog channel, but also kind of not because I also just vlog tons of my personal life too, not just work-related stuff. So, yeah, that's the change. So, yep, let's get into today's activities. <laughs> so recently I made this Copic piece, and the whole idea was that I filmed it in such a way where my hand is never visible, so I could put a little animated Bailey in there who's creating the art. And I still will do that, I think, as I still plan on doing it. <laughs> I'm just gonna make it shorter than I originally thought because originally I thought I'd make it maybe a three minute video and then I'd post it as a standalone video here to this channel, but I'm not gonna do those standalone kind of videos anymore unless I eventually do like, maybe if I do a compilation of all the little animated things I've done recently or something like, maybe that kind of stuff would be posted, but for the most part, there won't be standalone videos. So I'm still gonna do really, really short videos for other social media like TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, but this one though, I'm like, well, am I still gonna move forward with this then? Yeah, that's that a little Copic piece of a girl laying on a leaf. I did live stream this. So if you wanna see the full, full process of this in real time, that's over on my Twitch channel. For today, I wanna to work on moving more stuff downstairs into the warehouse because the warehouse was up here in this room and I moved it downstairs just to have a little bit more space, but there's still a lot of stuff up here that I have yet to move down. Most of it is boxes, both folded and unfolded. So <laughs> here's this room right now. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna move most of this down there. Some things are staying up like my filing cabinet, but uh, all the box stuff has gotta go down. Plus these shelves right here. This unit's gonna stay there. Our giant balloon popped. I think the wagon fell on it and just tore a big hole. It spells out 30, because I got those for Christian's birthday and I thought, hey, I'll hang on to them till my birthday, but we lost a zero. We're gonna need a, need a replacement for that one. I'm gonna start with the shelf because once I start bringing all the boxes down there, it's gonna be mayhem. Um, uh, <laughs> where am I setting this for now? This normally sits at the top of the shelf and he overlooks outside and there's a parking lot where a lot of people see this. <laughs> I think I'm gonna leave him in the windowsill. He just won't be on the shelf. He'll be directly on the windowsill. And then on the bottom shelf, we've got some pins. These are all discontinued ones in here or at least discontinued for now. There's always a chance they could come back, but. A bunch of chipboard. This thing's nice and light. It's just made of plastic. <laughs> Invert it, get some crud out of it. I think I want it right here because then it's similar to how it was upstairs. Most of the stuff on here doesn't need to be accessed as I'm packaging, except maybe things on the top two shelves. And then the stuff I don't need immediate access to goes down there. Move these in preparation for the other stacks of boxes coming down. I've got two big stacks like this. I'm getting Christian to carry them down just because it's heavy. <laughs> it's fewer trips if we don't cut it open. I'll carry some smaller stacks. Christian helped me bring a lot down. I just wanted his help for some of the bigger stuff, but then he just kept helping, so that was great. We got a lot of items down here already. It's still a mess, it needs to be organized, which I will get to soon. I still have to bring down all the folded boxes though, and those are gonna go back here. And I'm gonna have some of them up here just for easy access while packaging orders. I just hope it's not too high. I gotta like that height relative to the monitors but I'm, I'm only 5'2", so I'm like, okay, how easily can I reach these? Especially once we get a stack of them, I can only reach so high. I could always 
move the shelf down lower, but you know, we'll see. We'll see. I'll try to make do for the next door update and then I'll decide after that. Alrighty, folded boxes are down here. It feels like not a whole lot. I do have some up here as well, but that's it for the big stuff being brought down other than my chair. I'll bring that last so it's not in my way, but I need to just clean up all the small stuff. Like in here, I've got a bunch of things I just shoved in here to carry them down easily. Like, you know, I think this is supposed to be in this drawer. Although I might swap this and bring this electronic stuff upstairs. These are mail cap pins. Got my tape dispensers in here. Just miscellaneous small items. Down here I have stamps and thermal label paper. Woo! The stamps go up in here. Oy. I didn't have coffee yet. Why didn't I do that? <laughs> it's almost too late in the day for it now. Almost. There's still time. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be doing letter mail for Canadian orders. Unless it's just prints and stickers. But like, eventually I might switch to actually charging for parcels. Because then I can do some larger items. And technically I should be sending this stuff as parcels anyway, not as letter mail. <laughs> So for the next update, it's going to stay letter mail, but then I can't guarantee anything else in the future. And again, if something does need to be sent by letter mail because they just order flat items, I can just refund the shipping difference. It's also just nice to have the tracking for the parcels. I need to use a lint roller on this cubby. Look at that. Well, they're kind of gross. But yeah, the thermal paper goes in here along with all this tape. <laughs> And it's all clean! Woohoo! Yes! It's looking pretty darn good down here. And the next step is to clean the room upstairs where the warehouse was previously. But I'm going to prep OBS on this computer for workout streams. At least just for the Step Mania stream, because that's what I'll stream tomorrow morning. So I'm going to just make sure it's all set up. Like download Step Mania. I have to copy over my song files if I can. It should work. I should be able to like maintain my scores and stuff if I just copy everything and then reinst like reinstall Step Mania on this computer and copy everything over. And I need things like my Be Right Back screen maybe, um, get my stream alerts set up and all that. It's all up and running. All the songs are transferred over and yeah, it should be all good to go. Hello. <laughs> I have this little cover for the webcam. I didn't realize what that was when I first bought it, but I looked at the instructions. You can just cover it. Just Yeah, I like to keep my webcams covered when I'm using them. Maybe I'm paranoid, but I just, I do. I just had a late lunch and it's now four o'clock and now it's time to tidy up this room. <laughs> Before it was the warehouse, it was kind of just like a storage room of sorts. And I guess it's just gonna go back to being that. Like our recycling bins could maybe come in here. We kept them downstairs for a while, but might as well put them in here again. And here is the room now. Feels like I went back in time because this is pretty much what it used to look like once upon a time. I'm kind of torn about what I want to do next. It's either going to be more of these Mr. Bun Bun stickers, which are freebies to go with every order, or start pinning some Cutie Pine pins onto their backing cards. I might do this just because I could probably get all of them done today and then that task is completely done. Just one more thing completely off my checklist. All right, Carol. This is a precious kiki. Once I'm through with this sticker paper, I'm probably gonna use something different. This is not what I use for my sticker sheets because those I just get made elsewhere. Like I used Sticker Mule last time and I'll probably try Sticker Ninja next time or something, I don't know. We'll see, but yeah, for these little freebies, I'm just working my way through this paper here. I still have a lot of glossy vinyl left too, 
but man, Carol just hates the glossy vinyl. She just, she, she hates it. So I might get some matte vinyl in the future because I have used it in the past, like way back in my Patreon days. So um might go with that stuff. Well, technically it'll be different matte vinyl, but I'll probably order from Photo Paper Direct, which is where I got my glossy vinyl. But yeah, for now, I'm using up this. My print head was acting up as usual, so I gave it a super deep cleaning and did a, a print head swap because I have two that I alternate between when they start acting up. So yeah, this is how it was printing because the cyan was all clogged up. This is what it's supposed to look like. So well, the cyan's working, but these ones suddenly aren't. <laughs> So the printer is finally printing properly. <laughs> it's already uh, 618. Will I get them all done tonight? I don't know. Depends how late I wanna go. I try to not be in here too late, but I'm really determined to get these done. The problem is here, I don't think I have enough sticker paper actually. I'm trying to math it out and I need 60 more sheets. And that's assuming they all cut perfectly. There's always some screw ups and I have to not use the ones that cut really crooked, but um, yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't know. But it's I also don't know how many I'm truly going to need because the exact order number is always up in the air. Usually it's a little over a thousand, like around a thousand and fifty. But when I did the print only launch, it was over fifteen hundred. But that was also different because it was prints only. So assuming I have two hundred already, I wanted fifteen hundred more just to be really safe. This might be more than two hundred though. So I could try to fight with the glossy vinyl or I could give thick dino stickers. I still have a lot of leftover ones of that because last time I did little decky, but the time before that I did thick dino. So I could do thick dino again, but then some people might be disappointed they don't get the bunnies. I don't know. So I'll just try my best. We'll see. I'll probably try the glossy sticker paper before resorting to the thick dinos. It's just a battle. It's a battle because the cricket does not like reading the registration marks on the glossy paper. And I've tried every trick in the book. Don't, e don't even give me suggestions. Trust me, I've tried it. I've tried every freaking trick in the book. Some of them work temporarily and then just stopped working. Others just don't work at all. So that's why I just don't even bother with the glossy paper anymore. Yay, bunnies. And I remembered to save my cricket file this time. Last time I didn't, and then I had to cut some by hand because <laughs> I just couldn't. Like, there was no way I would have had them aligned exactly the same way in the file, so I cut them by hand. <laughs> I learned my lesson. Oh, and I did eventually get my coffee. It's taking me forever to finish it because of the printer stuff, but yeah. I, I, just, I need it, I need it. <laughs> All right, Carol, do your thing. Oh, I didn't do fast mode. Uh-oh. I'm watching the latest Joy Sand vlog, and this is actually my second time watching it. It's the two-hour one. I'm like, I just I just love her vlogs so much. I'm like, well, time for my second watch through. <laughs> Plus, sometimes I'm kind of distracted and I don't catch everything, so I like watching it two times. Oh, yeah, that is very slow. Oh, well. I'll make sure to hit fast mode next time. I wish there was a switch on the Cricut to do fast mode. It's only in the software, so I always forget. The cuts are looking good though. For those of you who haven't seen my vlogs before, I don't do a lot of the like music while I'm working on stuff kind of shots. I sometimes add music here and there, but it's mostly like less produced, just kind of like more chill. It's not a bunch of fancy shots with music like a lot of studio vlogs tend to be. It's just a little more casual. Is Daddy in the kitchen? Whoa! Yeah, the room, the old warehouse, it is yeah. empty, yeah. Oop, I just peeled this one off its backy. I've never done that in all my time of doing this. Maybe I should use the other spatula. I feel like the other one's better because it's thinner, so it can get under the sticker a little easier, but it's flimsier too. This is the official Cricut one, and this came with a little sculpting kit or something, sculpting tools. Set those aside. Load up the next one. I 
remembered fast mode this time. <laughs> Once you activate it, it'll stay activated. Until you launch the software again or go to like cut something new. So since I actually have a lot of downtime between sheets, I'm gonna also do some pin stuff. Usually it's not even done cutting the second row by the time I'm done peeling the stickers off the other sheet and getting a new one on. So yeah, might as well make good use of this time and do some pin pinning at the same time. There you go. And yes, there are Christmas pins. Okay, first of all, I swear this is the last time I'm gonna speak to you as if you're new to the vlogs. This is just the first one on this channel, so I kind of feel like I have to explain a few things, but in the future I'm just going to act like you've been watching them. <laughs> but um, yeah, I was they were so popular around Christmas time, I was going to restock them early in the year, but then there were going to be delays receiving them, so I thought, okay, I'll do like a print-only launch, and then I'll do pins again, so that pushed them back. Then it just got pushed back further because of COVID and whatever. It's, it's been a whole thing, so... There will be Christmas pins in July. Christmas in July. These are the B grade pins, so they have some flaws. Well, A grade pins can have flaws too, but they're like super minor ones, you know? B grade ones are a little more noticeable. Since this space is being taken up for the pins, I've been peeling the stickers off to the side on that same counter where Carol was sitting before. Okay, and back to this. Oh, the cutie pines. <laughs> this is like a small chunk of what I actually have, but <laughs> so cute. Well, it's 9.30, I'm stopping for the night. I'm not done the stickers, but I can't. I got all these pins done, they're all packaged up. Got all this here. <laughs> uh, I think what I'm gonna do though, later, like tomorrow or something, count out maybe like 30 of these, weigh them, and then count these by weight, just so I have a better estimate of how many I had before I started and just in general. Yes, Mr. Mia. I just want to know if I will really need more or not. Like, I might be okay with what I have. I actually have 47 sheets from today, but I had about two sheets worth in losses. Like, some that just cut too crooked. And I still have all these to get through. So, it's too much for tonight. <laughs> I'll just save it for tomorrow. Before I end the vlog, we must do the cat shame calendar. We have a few to do. So there's this one. I don't even live here. You do now. My dad bought me a $20 scratching post and I haven't used it once. I prefer the couch and carpet. $20, that's, that's amateur. No wonder they don't want to use it. I always have a dirty butthole. <laughs> Wait, I went one too far. Oops, pretend that didn't happen. Anyway, that's it for the vlog, so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.